Nerd out here breaking down Astralis Speed Pop on Inferno. They work on an early default. Three players, Magis, Device, and Glaive are trying to get banana control while the other two players, Dupree and Essie Tag, are alt middle, mollying window and spraying apartments. Glaive will go mid and smoke right brackets and flash. All five players will group back up banana. Astralis doesn't respect the half wall retake smoke and walk through it. For the execute, three Astralis players, Device, Magis, and Glaive will entry off of Essie Tag's God Flash. Device will smoke CT on the fly as he entries in. Dupree throws a quick smoke coffins, and Essie Tag and him throw roof flashes to allow their teammates to make their way to pool. Device will kill Amanek, and Nexa trades his teammate out, and Magis also does the same. Astralis takes sight and bomb is planted. G2 opts to save in a 3v4 after plant. Now, this is a good execute that surprises the enemy because no smokes are seen in order for the C2 to throw counter nades. Astralis entries with the God Flash and utilizes two quick smokes for Coffin and CT. Also, Astralis does his pop early into the round which can catch their opponents off guard. It is a good switch of pace and throws a spanner in the works. Let's look at the player's POVs. Device is Astralis' main opper, however he's going to have a rifle this round. He's going to help out with banana control. He starts T-stairs where he has a smoke out in case G2 molly it. Then he goes logs afterwards and he was going to fly for matches to peak half wall but cancels. The retake half wall smoke from G2 comes in and Device falls back due to possible nades. Him and his teammates won't respect the smoke and will walk through it. They risk it because when teams throw the retake nades, they typically don't stay in contest. For the execute, Device will smoke CT at the same time SE tags flash and Dupree's coffin smoke. He's gonna look away into the wall from SE tags god flash and he crosses the pool where he gets the entry into a blind Omenek top second and dies to Nexa but his team is there to trade. Magis will work on getting banana control. He goes banana and he mollies and flashes off car wall. Then he nades a corner. Magis will advance and G2 throw their half wall smoke. Magis will back up in case G2 opt to nade half wall. Him and his teammates will go through the smoke. Magis won't be throwing anything for the execute. However, had Device used a smoke on T stairs early on, then Magis would be the one smoking CT. Magis will swing the pool and he gets a trade kill Nexa. After plant, Magis plays top dark and he has a re-smoke for CT. I'm gonna skip the rest of the POV as G2 opt to save. Glaive has bomb he throws a window flash at 1 in 46 in case Magis faces G2's aggression. He sets up for another one if Magis needs it. He makes his way up mid solo and smokes right side and throws a flash. He needs to be careful in doing so because he is by himself with Bob. Had G2 had an op holding in front of Boiler in an off angle or a pop flash for mid, he could have costed them the round by losing the bomb. He throws his set of nades to keep G2 honest. You can see on the radar Kenny was rotating to B but Glaive's nades pull him back to A. You don't have to copy the same set of nades, a bracket smoke and a molly lane and some flashes will do the same. Afterwards Glaive will rotate to the banana where he will entry with device and matches. He won't throw anything here because he's out of nades. Glaive peeks too early or he's not looking away and he gets team flash from SE Tag's first flash. Glaive will then swing the pool and his teammates get the kills. He will plant behind Fountain. SE Tag goes bridge and he spams apartments. It makes it look like Astralis are defaulting early on. Afterwards he's gonna regroup banana. SE Tag will wait for his teammates to take top banana control. And you can see here that he and Dupree will wait in the back because they have a lot of utility for the execute and can't afford to die. For the execute, Essie Tag will throw the God Flash when Dupree is ready to smoke coffins and his top banana teammates are ready to explode. Then he follows up with a Roof Flash. He helps clear sight afterwards and then Essie Tag, he still has a smoke still so he will re-smoke coffins after plant. Dupree starts alt mid and he mollies window, then afterwards he goes underpass where he rotates to banana. For the execute, Dupree is going to throw a fast coffin smoke and then two chain flashes towards roof that allow his teammates to entry without getting flashed. For the smoke positioning, Dupree will crouch and position himself with the shadow here. Then he stands up and aims a little bit above the line here and above the set of leaves. He will left click. He throws it when SE Tag is throwing his first flash aka the god flash. Then he follows it up with two roof flashes. Dupree will advance onto his site if need be, meaning if his teammates are falling and they need his help to get site control. Otherwise, he will turn around and watch Banana flank. However, Dupree here starts the hunt because he knows G2 is opting to save. 
To wrap up, Astralis' B pop on Inferno is a good strat because they go in with a flash followed with two quick smokes for CT and coffins. Since Astralis goes in with a flash, the CTs will be able to throw counter nades based off smokes. Also, Astralis' timing on the pop early round like stayed before is a good switch of pace. If you liked the video, please upload and subscribe. Till next time, not out here. Peace.